brings her back. A good soul. <clears throat> I got a, a lovely lady downstairs. Um, a, a, a ne another lady who walks through this a lovely building quite regularly. And, um... OK, Sam, is that her name again? Can you encourage her to step forward? Yes. This lovely soul um, feels really, really, really so strong about this lovely place. And um, I got her name, um, but it was funny to see her because what she did was... Uh, it was like... How can I put it? I, I guess the way I feel about it is if, you know, I'm smoking... I, I feel a bit of a chain smoker. Mm -hmm. Smokes regularly. Mm -hmm. And, um... Can you give us a name with this person? Who is it again, Sam? Can you bring her back? Bring her back into our atmosphere. Leone. 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 It's a surname. Leone. Surname. Can you give me the surname, please? Come on. Please, come on, you have to give it to me. See, I'm waiting for it to be given mm -hmm. here. Subjectively, but it's not been given yet. Okay. In terms of the names that you've come up with so far as Marjorie yes. and Leone, yes. are they connected to or are they the same person as the lady that you got on top of the stairs? Or I feel sure. that the lady that was on the top of the stairs that walks, mm -hmm. okay, um, is Marjorie. Mm -hmm. Marjorie. So far, we had only encountered kindly spirits at Castle Leslie, but how long would we have to wait before a far angrier entity made their presence known? There's a soul who's not happy that it's here, and he hasn't been happy since it's been brought here, and it shouldn't be here. Leslie in County Monaghan had already given us a brief but intriguing insight into its rich ancestral heritage, although it was the lady of the house that seemed to play a prominent role. The castle is currently managed by Sammy Leslie, who was keen to join us in the Red Room, a reported scene of heightened paranormal activity. You know, do you feel any feelings with this? What, the bed? Just, say, just stand by it? No. OK. This bed, I feel, it's like just for a short space of time, my mind went, and this bed was not here. And it shouldn't be here. What, do you, what does that mean, Sam, the feeling, some the residual energy? It belongs elsewhere. It belongs elsewhere. And there is a soul... Who is it? There's a soul who's not happy that it's here, and he hasn't been happy since it's been brought here, and it shouldn't be here. Stop it. Stop. Step back from me. Step back from me. Well, I'll move away. Who's this angry it's soul? It's a man. Who is he? I'm asking for his name, and he, has, he won't give it to me. But why? Why would he But there's someone... Sorry, forgive me. Mother. There's someone who objects to him. Absolutely. And he counteracts him. Who is it? Very noble man. Mm. Yes, who is he? Norman. Norman. A man who cut, cut, who's Norman. Mm -hmm. Counteract this spirit soul. And he stops him. Who's the name? What's the name of the spirit soul connected with the bed that Norman tries to stop? I keep on asking. Mm. I keep on asking. I'm intrigued over this. But can I, I say he's... Um, he's a group of... He's one of a group of souls, spirit souls that was around this bed in a previous place. Right. So the only way... So I wherever could... the bed came from... It was haunted. Right. It was haunted. I'd, I'd be interested to know, from my perspective, are you getting the information from the bed? Are you getting it from Sam? Are you I'm getting, getting a mixture of both. Here? A mixture of both. And the residual energy, when I first walked in here, I, I, it was a blank, and I walked towards here, and I didn't feel as if I wanted to step next to it. You're getting a mixture of information, some from the bed, which yes. is kind of an emotional thing, yes. but you're also getting messages from Sam and just yep. from being in this room. So there's a lot of mixing. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, the thing is, I never, ever know whatever atmosphere we walk into, 
in the most haunted series. I never know what we're likely to expect. It's always different. Can I ask Sammy, d does, does any of that make any sense to you at all? Yeah. Yeah, it does make sense. It does, but it's two, th it's two stories that have been crossed over. Right. Oh, right. I don't know. Okay. So yeah. these are the energies that are, you know, go... Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. This building appeared to hold several complex spiritual energies that for once had left our medium, Derek Akora, slightly confused. Although this bed may be paranormal, his senses relate to another bed which is situated in Norman's room. With our cameras switched to night vision, perhaps our psychic would gain more clarity in the bedroom that is named after a favorite son who once slept there. Look, coming now, um, I feel as if, um, since we've been, uh, before, since before, um, I feel as if, um, again, I've got a, a man's energies that's been here, and it's not residual energy. And um, so it, t it tells me very clearly that it, his spirit self has been here. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, mm -hmm. this is where the sword belongs. This is where the sword belongs. Earlier. A sword. A sword. What sword, son? He's glad, this man is glad. Do I repeat it that way? He's glad his sword has returned. He's glad his sword has returned to its rightful place. What sword? Sam says, how do I, what do I say about all of that, Sam? He's glad it's returned from the field. Feels. Is that how it says? He's glad the sword, his sword, has returned from the fields. Who is he? Who are you talking about? Who is it we're talking about, Sam? Norman. Mm -hmm. Norman. Norman who? Norman who? Norman Leslie. Mm -hmm. Norman Leslie. Mm -hmm. What year did he die? What year did he pass, Sam? What year? What? He can tell me himself. Is he here? Is he here? Okay. Does another one come here? Who? Who's that, please, Sam? Sorry. Right. His brother is giving him comradeship. His brother is giving him... He's laughing. He's shouting um, to Shane. He's shouting to Shane. Who's Shane. Norman shouting Yes. To yes. Who's Shane? Who? His brother. His brother. Mm -hmm. Shane is unhappy because of what? There's a spirit man in this beautiful home that they're all unhappy with. And they don't like him here. He's an outsider. He's not family. Who is he? Oxenbridge. Who? Oxen. Someone called Oxenbridge. Sir Oxenbridge. There's an energy behind you. Right now, are you okay? Just a moment there. Yeah, There's a light. The radiator's on. There's an energy just yeah. flash behind you there. You know I'm sorry, right. I'm feeling like this heat coming. That's why I turn around. Because I feel like, you know when you're standing next to a fire? And you've got your back to the fire. Mm. I just feel like it was just really hot. I am mm. boiling. But it's, mm. it's, it's, it's warm in this room, Yeah, isn't it? very warm. Okay. Very warm. And um, where? We want to say, I'll have to pronounce it that way, I think I'm wrong, forgive me. Samsa said that Norman wants to get Oxenbridge out of here and back to where? How do I pronounce that? Is that a name of a place? Okay, if I say it wrong, you correct me. He wants to get Oxenbridge, say Oxenbridge, mm -hmm. Back to Braid Place. Mm -hmm. Braid Place. So what? what is his connection? Why Why is he, has he travelled here? How was it, why does it come here? Because there was a, a bed mm -hmm. that was attached from another place. And this and is the bed that you were talking about earlier? I think there must be, because he's coming up with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to say that sometimes, as I understand as a medium,